Hello and thank you so much for joining me in our week six stress reduction course. I hope everyone is doing well. I would like to start by thanking you so much for completing the six week course. I would like to thank you for taking the time and spending six weeks with me. I am, I am really grateful and thankful to have you with me. Today's topic is going to be the breath, movement, and building strength. So I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. Or if you choose, you can find yourself in a laying position, whatever feels best for you. Taking a moment to go inward here today, maybe we can close our eyes or gaze our eyes downward towards the earth bringing our palms together at heart center if we choose. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we notice how our shoulders relax downward away from our ears with each exhale, maybe. Using the down gaze and the breath to help us become centered here today. using a down gaze to help us bring awareness to our present moment. Maybe we can allow our palms to touch the earth, noticing the environment around us, feeling the sensations of our environment, simply being aware, paying attention to this present moment. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our head to do a couple of circular rotations. Noticing how this feels within our body. Using the movement to help us bring awareness to what is going on within. Nice, slow motions. Ensuring that we are not moving too fast. This is our time for self-care. We are not rushing. We are being in the moment. Finding our pause. Allowing our head to rotate in the opposite direction. Noticing how the movement feels allowing our bodies to completely relax. Tummy is nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are up nice and tall. Finding pause at center. Exhaling our palms above our head, feeling the movement, seated salute. Continuing to gaze downward. Maybe we can bring our palms together above our head. As we exhale down, palms at heart center, seated prayer. Nice, slow movements. We are not in a rush. We are practicing self-care and using this time to focus on self. Inhale, seated salute, palms above the head. Exhale, prayer hands.
nice slow movements being aware allowing our hands our fingertips to rest on our shoulders lifting our shoulders up towards our ears rotating our shoulders towards the back lifting our shoulders up rotating them towards the back maybe do a couple of shoulder rotations at our natural breath nice slow movements being aware of how we feel within our bodies without judgment finding pause shoulder rotations forward lifting our shoulders up towards our ears rotating our shoulders forward nice slow motions finding our calm Finding our peace within. May we do a couple of forward shoulder rotations and our natural breath. Finding our pause, allowing our palms to rest beside our bodies, onto the yoga mat, onto the floor, feeling the sensations of the earth as we allow our bodies to lean to the right. Left arm comes up in the air above our heads, filling our spines, bend sideways. We now have a C-spine, tummy's nice and tight. Nice natural breaths as we feel the sensations of our side bend going down as much as we comfortably can. Exhaling back to center, palms on the earth. In breath. And on our out breath, we'll bend to the left, arms above the head. Our body leans to the opposite side. Relaxing our bodies down, feeling the C-spine. Tummy's nice and tight. Going downward as much as we comfortably can. Exhaling back to center. Palms are on the earth. Inhale, palms above the head, salute. Exhale, prayer. Allowing our hands to relax on our laps. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cow rotations. Lifting our chest heart chakra forward as our chin comes slightly up, feeling a curvature in our backs. We are in our cow. Exhale into our cat. Spinal cord goes towards the back. Chin comes towards our chest, our clavicle area. We are in our cat pose. Breathing back to our cow. We're gonna do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Being aware of the movements and how it feels within our bodies. Three more natural breaths. Finding our pause, bringing our palms back at heart center. Gazing downward towards the earth. Taking a moment to go inward here today with silence. Simply checking in. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. 
exhale through the mouth. Finding our bodies completely relaxed here. When we practice self-care, we often become more reflective, more aware of who we are. When we are working with the breath, we are using the breath to help calm and soothe and relax. It is true that when we take nice, deep, intentional breaths in, it relaxes our minds and our bodies. Maybe there have been a time when we felt a little bit anxious or anxiety. Maybe we can try taking nice, deep, intentional breaths in and exhaling a breath through the mouth and noticing if that has a positive effect on our current situation. Noticing if that has a positive or negative effect on our current state of mind. Simply taking nice deep breaths in, holding a breath, exhaling, often calms and soothes. Also the breath allows our mind, allows our body to take a moment to think. That breath in allows us to come to a standpoint of our next reaction. Either we're going to react or respond. So in taking that nice deep breath in, holding that breath for a couple seconds, exhaling that breath, in that split second, in that moment, it allowed us to think calm down and often react in a more positive way. Maybe we can give it a try. The breath is power and we can soothe ourselves. That is the power of the breath. And the power of the movement allows us to flow our energy points throughout our bodies. When we move, when we flow, we are unblocking any block chakras within our bodies. We are noticing and focusing on what hurts, what's blocking, what's not flowing correctly. And when we are moving and when we are flowing in our yoga, the energy becomes unblocked and can move gracefully throughout our bodies. We feel better. We think better. We sleep better. We even eat better when we move, when we are active. Have you noticed? If not, maybe we can give it a try. Maybe we can move around more, do more strength building exercises and techniques and notice how we feel during and after. Notice how we think, notice how we sleep, notice how we eat, etc. Maybe we can give movement a try and see how it works with our minds and bodies. You never know. And when we are doing our movements, we are often building strength. Using the movements to not only strengthen our bodies, but also strengthen our minds. Indeed, when we become stronger within, our minds become stronger. When we start a routine, a regular routine, that is eating better, breathing better, working out more, becoming more active, it changes our mentality. It changes the way we think, the way we walk, the way we move. People around you will notice something that something is different within you. The energy, the power, it flows. It flows in your movement. It flows in your speech. It flows in your confidence. You become. But of course, we have to practice it. We have to experience it in order to realize it. And once we practice, once we experience, other people's outsiders, onlookers will see, wow, something changed within you. What are you doing differently? Show me the way. Tell me what you are doing. I like what I see. Can you 
guide me? Can you show me? It happens all the time. Change starts from within. If we want to change the world, if we want to change the environment around us, if we want to change the people's lives around us, we must first change ourselves. We must first allow them to see us and see how we are changing. And then and only then will they ask for guidance. Only then will we be able to change the world around us. But it first starts from within. You want to see change? We got to be the change. Gandhi. Have you noticed certain foods you eat you feel sluggish after and have you noticed certain foods you eat you feel awakened and refreshed? Maybe we can pay attention to the foods that build us strength and make us feel good and the things that do not. Once we know, once we are aware of, then we'll do better. A lot of times people get done eating and they say, oh, I got the itis. Well, guess what? Certain foods give you the itis. Maybe we can become more conscious and aware of the foods that give us the itis. The itis is that sleepy syndrome. After you eat, you feel sleepy, tired, sluggish. What foods, what foods make us feel that way? There are also foods that make us feel energetic and hyped and ready for the activity at hand. But we again have to be aware of the foods that make us feel that way. Awareness is key, and once we are aware, we can start to make positive changes in our lives. But again, we must first want the positive change. We must first want the difference. When we become strong in one field, it often allows us to be stronger in another field. But of course, we have to start the process. Everything's a process, and everything is, is an awareness of that process. But again, we have to start the process to feel it, to experience it, to realize it, to become it. Maybe we can give it a try by developing a skill, noticing how that skill develops into a new skill, etc., etc. We climb up the ladder of strength, of happiness, of hope. And the more we climb that ladder, the more we want it, the more better we become, the more sincere we become, shall I say the more happier we become with ourselves. We get excited often when we find ourselves building strength and doing things we never did before. What can we do to strengthen ourselves that we did not do yesterday? We all know intrinsic ways and intrinsic things that we want, that we need within ourselves. What can we do to strengthen our physical and mental bodies the answer will be different for everybody because we all have different wants and needs maybe we can bring our palms together at heart center gazing downward towards the earth and take a moment to critique what is needed to build mental and physical strength not saying that we don't have it but what can we do to advance to new levels May we go inward here and critique our answer. Nice, natural breath. Exhaling. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Using this time to self-critique, being aware of what we want and what we need to build strength in our lives. May we go inward and search for our answer. Allowing our palms to flow to the side of our bodies. Touching the earth, feeling the energies and the vibrations of the universe. Listening to the universe. Allowing us to find the answers that we seek within our intrinsic responses. Indeed, we already know what we need and what we want. 
We just have to listen and feel and realize what it is. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders are nice and tall. Tummy is nice and tight. As we uncross our legs, if they will cross, finding ourselves in our tabletop position, hands are beneath our shoulders, our knees are hip distance apart, dropping our bodies down to our cows, feeling the curvature of our spine, chin slightly comes up, tummy is nice and tight. We are working on the movement and noticing how the movement feels within our bodies. As we exhale to our cat pose, chin comes towards our clavicle, our spinal cord comes up in the air. Tummy's nice and tight. Breathing back to our cow. We're going to do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Relaxing our bodies as much as we can with each rotation. Simply being aware of how we feel within. Four more natural breaths. Finding our bodies at pause, we are back at table. Allowing our right leg to come behind our bodies. We're gonna work on a bird pose. Our leg is straight to the back. We're gonna allow our left hand to come forward. Tummy's nice and tight. Building strength here. We are also building balance. Of course, balance in life is essential. Balance is always the key. Up and down, good and bad, balance is essential. We're holding this pose, three more natural breaths. Going inward. We're going to exhale, bringing our knee to our elbow, feeling the crunch, flowing back to our bird. Noticing how the movement feels within our body. Coming back to our crunch. Back to our bird. Exhaling back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhaling to our cat. Coming back to our table. Bird pose opposite side. Left leg goes to the back, nice and high. Feeling the stretch. Bringing our right arm forward, building balance, building strength. Tummy is nice and tight. Being aware of the movements, filling our bodies, balance here. Exhale and knee to elbow, feeling a crunch. Back to bird. Back to knee to elbow. Back to bird. Exhale and back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhaling to cat. Back to our table. Bird pose right side, right legs back in the air. We're gonna keep both of our hands flat on the earth and we're gonna do a couple of leg pulses. Lifting our, lifting our right leg up in the air, back and forth, feeling the pulse here. Tummy is nice and tight. We are building strength and we are being aware of the movement within our bodies. Finding pause, exhaling back to table, exhaling our left leg to the back, keeping both hands in front of us. We're gonna do pulses on the opposite side. Nice natural breaths here. Noticing what's going on within. Finding pause. Exhaling back to our table. Bringing our knees slightly apart as we allow our buttocks to come back to the heels of our feet. We're gonna come down to a child's pose. Feeling the movement of this pose. Noticing how we feel as we allow our heart chakra, our chest, to come downward towards the earth. And we're going to allow our hands to come forward in front of us as we relax down here in our child's pose. We're going to hold this pose for six breaths. 
using the time to go inward and be aware of what's going on. Slightly gazing forward, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, noticing how this feels. Feeling the stretch as we wave our bodies. Maybe we can do a couple of spinal waves here. <sighs> waving our bodies to our tabletop. <sighs> Finding pause in our tabletop. Pushing our bodies up to our damn dog. Feeling the stretch here. Maybe we can gaze back at our feet. Maybe gazing forward at our hands. Simply building strength. Allowing our bodies to come up to our high plank. Here in our high plank, we are building strength, building awareness, noticing how we feel. Tummy's nice and tight. Coming back to our damn dog. Flowing up to our up dog, coming up slightly, holding his pose. If the up dog is causing us any issues, we can always come down to a cobra, which is relaxing our knees and our thighs on a yoga mat. So we can hang out here in our cobra, or we can come up to our up dog. If we're in our cobra, we wanna make sure that our shoulders are away from our ears. We don't wanna be sunken, we wanna be nice and high. See that there? So hanging out in our cobra or our up dog, we are building strength, building awareness. Exhaling back to our down dog. Coming back to our knees, flowing back to our child's pose, our buttocks comes towards our heels. Relaxing out here for five to six breaths. Let's hang out here for six breaths. Simply using the time to go inward and relax. Slightly gazing forward, bringing our hands forward, finding our bodies back in our table. Maybe do a spinal wave to get into our table if we choose. Once we are in our table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog. We are working on a movement here, feeling and noticing how our bodies feel within the movements. And holding a pose. Drop into our knees. Coming back down to child's pose, buttocks comes to heel. Simply relaxing, noticing how the movement feels within our bodies. We're gonna hang out here four breaths. Slightly gazing forward, bringing our hands forward, walking our fingers forward, feeling a stretch, noticing how we feel as we find our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Oh, feeling a stretch here. Exhaling to our cat. Coming back to our table. Maybe we can find ourselves in a seated pose. We can cross our feet behind our bodies if we choose to find that position. <sighs> nice and relaxed here in our lotus, half lotus. Maybe take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. 
exhale. Maybe we notice how the in breath and out breath relaxed and soothe our mind and body. Maybe we notice how the breath regulated our heartbeat. Maybe we can take our left hand and place it over our sternum or our heart, whatever feels good for you. Maybe we can take our right hand and place it on our tummy, which is right beneath our ribs. Our shoulders are back nice and tall. Our spinal cord is not sunken, but nice and long, nice and tall. Our tummy is nice and tight. As we use our left hand to fill our heart. As we use our right hand to fill our tummy. Using the sensation of touch to relax ourselves, to soothe ourselves. For we have the power to relax, calm, and soothe. For it is within. We just have to be aware of what we need to relax us. Noticing how our hand feels over our heart. Eyes are gazed downward towards the earth. Our right hand is on our tummy. Shoulders are downward away from our ears. We are becoming relaxed. Nice, natural breaths. Inhale, exhale, using our breath to calm and soothe. Oh, the power of the breath is everything. As the power of movement everything. As building strength both physically and mentally is everything. And maybe we can notice how when we build strength in one revenue of our life, how that advances us and motivates us to build strength in other aspects of our life. It just starts from one point, from one strength building technique. And it leads to a catalyst of building strength throughout our lives, building strength throughout our relationships. Building strength leads to wanting and expecting more from life from people, from our careers, from our environment. Exhaling our palms towards the earth, palms facing flat down on the earth. Breathing our palms above our head, salute. Saluting ourselves for our strengths, for our courage. For our movements. As we exhale our palms down that heart center. I would like to thank you all for joining me in our six week stress reduction course as a result of COVID-19. And even though every week we didn't bring up COVID-19 because I didn't feel that it was needed, we don't want to be constantly reminded of it. And I hope that we have learned some techniques that can help us deal with the ongoing effects of COVID-19 and any hiccups that we may endure in life. I hope that this course can help us simply deal. And not only deal, but 
realize our behaviors and our th our thought processes when handling difficulties in life. That, is, that was one of the goals of this course was to help us self-evaluate and bring awareness to the world around us, but also to bring awareness to how we are within and how we handle life, how we handle COVID or work or our kids or our spouses or the people out there in the world who rub us the wrong way or how we handle our co-workers or our bosses or our employees maybe we're the manager how do we handle how do we deal how do we speak to people note to self our brain will constantly rewire itself to suit the information that we feed it if we are constantly complaining gossiping finding excuses, etc., it will make it much easier to find things to be, to be upset about in life, regardless of what is happening around us. Likewise, if we are constantly searching for opportunities, abundance, love, and things to be grateful for, it will make it much easier to find a reflection of those things around us. It takes practice, but over time, this is a very powerful way to reshape our reality. Just a food for thought. Peace and blessings. Life is a learning experience, and we are here to teach each other. I would like to ask that we bring our palms back together at Heart Center. Gazing downward towards the earth. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Allowing our hands to come towards the earth. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, we are going to do a seated spinal twist. Feeling the stretch here in our spinal cord. Exhale and back to center. Spinal twist opposite side, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhale and back to center. Nice natural breath. Noticing how we feel here in this present moment. Noticing the thoughts and emotions and feelings that are going on within. Without judgment. Simply being aware. Thanking ourselves for allowing ourselves to be here today. And participating in this six week stress reduction course. It was truly a pleasure, and I'm thankful once again to have you. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Peace and blessings be to you. I will see you on a mat in our next stress reduction course or our next yoga session or whatever you decide to join me for. Thank you so much. It truly was a pleasure. I appreciate it. And I will post pictures of graduation. It's most likely going to be virtual, but I'll still post pictures. And because of you, I was able to complete this session of grad school. Thank you so much once again. Peace and blessings be to you. Thank you.